Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about the iPhone XR on the iOS 17 Public Beta 2. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hyped and remember, all things I'm going to talk about in this video is valid for the Beta 4 as well. The iOS 17 Developer Beta 4 has the same build as the Public Beta 2 of iOS 17. So make sure you remember that. Let's get right into this video without wasting any more time. Alright, so I installed this version on my iPhone XR and the number one thing that I saw is storage. Yes, I freed up around 3 gigabytes of my device after installing this update and that is a big thing. If you are low on storage, you should definitely not wait and install this update on your device. If you are not on iOS 17, let's talk about that. What all new things are you going to see and iOS 17 public beta 2? Is it any better than the beta one and the issues we were having on the beta one? Let's talk about those. So the number one issue was wallpaper bug. Is the wallpaper bug fixed on the public beta 2? The answer is no. The public beta 2 is still having the wallpaper bug. I don't know what is stopping Apple from fixing this bug. This is so irritating, but the wallpaper bug is still present in iOS and it is not yet fixed yes it is happening really less now i mean it is just occurring way less often compared to earlier the beta one it was just happening again and again now it happens once or twice a day which is a really small number compared to once or twice an hour on the beta one for me and it does depend on what device you're using because for some reason the wallpaper bug is present on every device but it reacts differently on all devices the iphone 10r does have the wallpaper bug on the ios 17 public beta 2. the next thing is performance the performance of the iphone 10r on the ios 17 public beta 2 is noticeably better yes i do feel like the performance is better compared to the beta one the animations the opening of apps and all feels a tad bit more smoother and responsive compared to the ios 17 public beta one the standby has received some changes as well going in the standby you can see there are more features and a, a customization option you can customize the numbers and the font of the letters that is new on the ios 17 public beta 2 except for that there isn't anything majorly new here which uh, is really bad because there are a lot of features that are not available on iphone 10r so if you are using iphone 10r make sure to not have high expectations because a lot of feature won't be available on your device as this is the last iphone supporting the ios 17 i have got three gigabytes of storage back after installing this update and the animations feel responsive and noticeably faster now let's jump to the battery life is the battery life anything better compared to the beta one now this is something which is right now too early for me to talk about because it's just been a day or two that i am using my device on this beta i will make sure to talk about it briefly in my follow-up video later this week so if you are new here consider hitting that subscribe button because i will talk about the battery life of iphone 10 r more in depth in my video later this week in my follow-up video but by now in my experience the battery life seems to be a little bit better compared to earlier yes same like the beta 4 i said that the beta 4 or uh, the developer beta 4 seems to be a little bit better compared to the beta 3 of ios 17 the battery life seems to be better on the public beta 2 as well now the question that appears here is that is it worth installing this update on your device or not the answer is yes definitely if you are on the beta 1 don't even think about it just install it this is much better than that in every aspect and of course as the beta gets mature it will get better eventually and you should not really think a lot about it before installing because you are already on a beta and the next beta will of course be better than the current one what if you are not on ios 17 and you are willing to try out the new features and changes of ios 17 for example the standby feature which is 
the standout feature of the iOS 17. Yeah, I did some wordplay there. So the standby feature is really great and works really amazing on the iPhone XR. I'm glad they didn't take that feature from us on the iPhone XR. So iPhone XR works really amazing with the standby feature. What if you want to try those new features out on your device? Is it worth installing it on your device or not? The answer is yes. Now I can say that you guys can go ahead and try the ios 17 version out on your device but i would still not recommend you guys to install it on your primary device because beta is a beta and you never know how it's going to react if you are installing it on your device make sure to take a backup of your data because once your data is gone you can just downgrade to ios 16 but can't get your data back so make sure to take a backup on ios 16 and then move forward let's talk about the gaming performance of iphone 10r because i know a lot of these folks play games on their phones and they want to try out the new ios so what if you want to play games but you still want to experience the new features of ios 17 on your iphone 10r how is the performance of gaming on ios 17? gaming performance seems to be pretty decent but uh, in the long run when you are playing the game for a long time for example high intensive games like PUBG and casual games like smash hit and don't touch the spike games like those will be okay but the PUBG then high intensive games like call of duty and all after some time after about a match or two match you will noticeably see your battery draining very quickly and not to forget the heating issues are still present yes it does get warm that is a big thing which you should consider before installing it on your device because ios 17 is right now in beta stages and betas do get really warm while doing some tasks like gaming because it does have a lot of background activity processes going already well that's pretty much it for today's video if you are new here please hit that subscribe button i am jay aka tech hyped and thank you so much for watching this video till the end i will catch you guys in the very next episode you guys can let me know what are your thoughts on ios 17 and talk to me on my twitter at the rate tech hyped i do talk to a lot of you guys and if you want to suggest me some topic or anything Thing. if you want me to cover a speed test or anything any video idea that you have just dm me or comment down below i will make sure to make video on that for you make sure to subscribe to this channel because i keep on making these type of videos for you guys and you guys seem to love them so make sure i am continuously on your feed hit that subscribe button and turn on notification i will catch you guys in the very next episode this is me jay aka tech hyped and i am signing off Peace out everyone and have a great day.